Well, it is an outstanding day in St. Louis. First of all, it's beautiful outside. I'm wearing shorts for the love of Pete. It's that kind of day. And we are joined in the Point Studio uh, for the, I believe, like the second time in the last few months by Story of the Year. Gentlemen, what's going on? It's Yay! wonderful to see you. Oh, oh, beach, hello. Pete. That's wow, us. That was awesome. <laughs> Man, that was awesome. Well, it's it's great to see you. Happy New Year. It's great you know? to see you. you I, too, think, too. I think I could still you. say that because I haven't seen you since last year. True. All right. right. But we got a lot of things to talk about today. Couple, we do. A couple things. So, so the, and you know what would have probably been beneficial is that if we would have discussed before we went on the air the order in which that we wanted to do all the things in which that we got to do. Nah, we've just been fun. sitting here chatting and right, catching up. Right, right just, just, just talking. Yeah, so, uh, wing it. It might be a little, little messy here, but I think where we could start is, uh, do you want to start with the show? Yes, yeah. sure. We just uh, just officially uh, posted it, which we thought we were going to say it on air and then post it, but our management posted it already. But we are playing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it nice how that happens? Yeah, you know, <laughs> we we, or, we organize everything in a similar fashion where we don't organize. Um, it just farts out of us. Story of the year. Stuff. Story of the year. Red jumpsuit apparatus and fight back mountain at the pageant, March eleventh. Did I say all that right? Yeah. yeah. It's, yes. our, it's our record release show. It's our record release show the for the new... five and up show. <laughs> for the new album, Tear Me to Pieces, which Street comes coffee. out the day before. So, um, yes. That's, that's, that's pretty fun. That's the, the important stuff. All right. Yeah. So, so, just to reiterate here, all right... This is one hell of a rock show to uh, to 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 put out a record. All right, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. Haven't had them back in St. Louis in a minute. Yep. Fight Back Mountain, one of my very favorite St. Louis bands. It's wonderful to have them on the bill, and then you guys as well. Again, Saturday, March the 11th is the show date. Tickets are on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. All show details are up now at 1057thepoint.com. Nice. So there is that. And we talked to you guys months and months and months ago, um, you know, before we even started playing real life and, you know, you really excited about the record at that particular time. And I know that you still are, but what is it like to, like, make this record and then kind of be sitting on it for a bunch of months <laughs> going... Whoa, I want people to hear this, but we can't. We we have to take this. We you know, there's a plan that you have to follow. Yeah. When we excruciating. Well yeah. when we first think, heard yeah. when we first heard the plan, it was pretty it was excruciating. It was, it was little, like July. It was a little frustrating because we finished it a year ago, you know. So it's like, what are we doing? Let's put it out now. And then, you know, once the label kind of explained the plan, it made a little more sense. But now I, I dude, I love this. I love this process of every, you know, four or five weeks putting out a new song because we get to extend the life of the record cycle for like a half a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because now it's like you put it out and then two weeks later, it's like, that's it. So better to just, you know, build it, you know? A hundred percent. Well, and also too, the way that the old singles used to roll out, you know, you'd have the record already out. It'd be single one, two, three, yeah. and then mm -hmm. it was over. Yep. So, you know, six months, if you got six months out of an album cycle, that was pretty successful. But this here, it gives you a lot, a lot more room to wiggle, I, I, I feel like, you know? And also, yep. yeah, for us, like, you know, we, for the first couple of years, you, we were a full-time band, you know, first like 10 years, basically, like there was year, we, the years we toured like 300 days out of the year. You know, the last five, six, seven years, we kind of like went on a, for lack of a better word, kind of a hiatus. We only played a handful of times a year. We played like St. Louis and Japan, and that was like it. Mm -hmm. So now... Two good spots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're going to pick two. So now us being like a full-time band again, like getting back on the horse and like just being like working our way back towards like a full-time band again, like this plan is actually like awesome for us. Because we can kind of like, we're just thinking everything like slow build back up the mountain, like a slow, nice steady climb you know so Absolutely. this works out awesome for us well very good well let's I, I tell you what let's do this so we've announced the show we've got a new song to play i don't know what we're waiting for yeah. i feel like we might as well just, just get after time? it just and go then for we it can, we can chit chat a little yeah. more after that all right all right, all right. this so. is a world debut world debut happening right now story of the year uh new track uh, is called war and it is a good one more with the story of the year guys next year at 1057 the point that is brand new music from Story of the Year called War. And, uh, you know, I'm saying this off the air to you guys a little bit, but, uh, but I think it's worth mentioning again. This feels like a... This feels like Story of the Year, and it feels like where you guys should be in 2023 and how you should sound in 2023. Like, it just seems like, a wow, that's a really mm -hmm. tremendous song, guys. <laughs> thank, like, thank you, thank I, you. You've got to feel good about that, too. Yeah, yeah and, and that's you, a very hard thing to accomplish as a band who's been a band for 20 years, trying to sound current keep all your fans happy and make yourself happy, it's, it's a hard balance, and I think we kind of accomplished it. You and Bond said it best. While we were wrapping up the, the, the record in the studio, Bond was like, dude, this sounds like if Page Avenue came out in 2023. I was like, darn. Mission accomplished. 
Darn, Bond, you're right. Mate. Darn, Bond. You guys, Look it's a renaissance. Look at uh, Bond, man. Bond's always, Bond. Is, we, always, don't bond. <laughs> we don't roll anywhere without Bond. Yeah, yeah and, and you Security. Should, but you know what, though? A lot of folks a lot of folks know Bond, and, and but what? tell people what Bond is doing for you guys on show day, and I bet you I know the answer, and I bet you the answer is everything. Everything. <laughs> Even in the studio. He was in the studio more than, like, half the band. <laughs> like, yep, yeah. yeah, the whole, he was in Nashville he's, with us for... He's our committed other member yeah, who yeah. doesn't get to play on stage with us. Right, but yeah. he sometimes he does. But he texts for you, though, yeah, right, Yeah, he texts for Adam and I, but he kind of just stage manages and... Uh, he, he, he's Dan's handler. Yeah, he gets Dan Dan's back hand. by bus call. You know, <laughs> Whenever I'm drunk, he makes sure nobody steals me. Yes. <laughs> Boy, that, is a, that is a tough job, man. Yeah, that is that's a tough the hardest job. one. And most importantly, he's our homie. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So he's so one of those cute. guys, man. Yeah. I, he's one of those guys that if you don't like him, I feel like it's your problem. Okay. <laughs> yeah. sure. You yeah. know what I mean? Not a lot of those guys. guys I'm right here. <laughs> are, you, are you saying I got a problem? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, story of the year, uh, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Fight Back Mountain on March the 11th. Uh, it is the album release show for Story of the Year. Tickets on sale Friday uh, at 10 a.m. So I want to ask you guys about this. I don't exactly know the, the best way to do it, but it was about two or three months ago or so. Uh, the band Falling in Reverse had to cancel a show in Wisconsin because their laptops had gotten stolen. And uh, Ronnie did a video where he said, hey, you know, abandoned 2022. You got to have these. You can't do the show. Now, obviously, there were people that were supportive of Ronnie. There was the other side that absolutely hammered him and hammered rock music in 2020 as something, you know, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Wh wh where do you guys stand on, on, on that sort of thing? Because it's kind of under... It's kind of under my uh, understanding that most bands have backing for different songs. Like, they for use sure. it at some point on almost Dude, every show sure. you see. Dude, it's a tool and it's another band member. We could we pride ourselves in the fact that if our stuff goes down, we can still play. Mm -hmm. we, know, we, can, we can figure out a set. Yeah, we can like, figure out a set. We can all play our instruments. But, like, you know, it's a tool. And you're in the studio. It's like, I want keyboards. I want strings. I want this, that, blah, 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 blah. Unless you're a... A Metallica and you can afford to hire string players to come on tour with you and keyboard players to come on tour with you and so on and so forth. Which 98% of bands can't. 99.9% of bands can't if they right. want to come home with money for their families like we do. So long story short, that stuff goes on backing tracks on, that's controlled by a laptop. So if the laptop crashes, all that goes away. So yeah, there's some bands that can't do it. We're not, we can do it without it, but yeah, it's a tool. It's like, it's like the latest technology and we want to use it. Yeah. And we embraced it more and more over yeah, the years, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah, we, we building it into songs. We're now we're, yeah. Yeah. In this world after that kind of like major change. But it's also not new if you think about it, like especially going back to like the 90s when there was this like huge industrial scene, mm -hmm. you know, like could Nine Inch Nails play without computers and all of yeah. the electronics and that huge rack of keyboards and whatever? No. Like could Queen play Bohemian Rhapsody without on literal two inch analog tape all of the choirs? Not really. Be a lot easier for them to do it now <laughs> than... than 40 years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so but it's yeah, been around forever. But I do see, I see both sides. I see it's like, hey, you're, especially like a rock band, bass, drums, vocals, guitars, blah, blah, blah. You should be able to at least get through a set. But on the other hand, it's just like band, everyone, just like you said, from Queen to Rush, the 90s, 2000s, everyone's like just pushing the latest technology. Yeah. You know? I just always find it so weird when some of the older rock guys get so puffed out in their chest about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, It's just like, I'm sure that there were things that were going on in the 70s there too. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, but yeah. like, like, it's not just something that these newfangled punk rock kids are doing or something right. like that. You're using know. those classy uh, fuzz pedals, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fake distortion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, go, like this kind of stuff, like all the stuff with the technology. Ryan and I made a documentary like 10 Ten years ago about all this stuff and we had all these conversations learned a lot like when sergeant pepper came out for example there was all this this big kerfuffle about like what are they doing here it's like they can't even play this stuff live what are they doing with this multi-tracking you know? right right it's always been a thing in some yeah. version or another. So there's always going to be somebody crabby. Yeah. Yep. Do and, what you want. Yep. Don't listen to anybody else. Big get off my long energy. And it's not. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> so. Well, let's do this. Let's play another Story of the Year track, and then we'll come back uh, with the guys and, and wrap it up. Another new one from Story. It's Real Life on 105.7 The Point.
Uh, it's just uh, in the studio, just talking about the brilliance of Encino Man was story of the year. Uh, <laughs> that, is, that is real life. Uh, the new album, Tear Me to Pieces from Story of the Year, is out on March the 10th. On March the 11th, uh, you've got the big uh, album release show at the pageant. Those tickets are on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. You've got the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus and Fight Back Mountain opening up the show on the 11th. And mm -hmm. we world premiered a brand new Story of the Year song called War, which will be out everywhere tomorrow, tomorrow with a badass video as yes. well which you guys are very excited about it. hilarious video seeing you we guys got to make a funny video finally yeah man here. seeing you guys all gussied up in the uh the <laughs> pictures of those uh, of that video are pretty yeah, fantastic you're gonna enjoy it and i'm also kind of jealous because you got to have one of those like those long <laughs> we stashes all, we all got cool stashes in it yeah, yeah mine was real yeah believe it or not so was josh obviously wow yeah that's well done guys i get too impatient <laughs> like way 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 too impatient so uh, uh thank you very much for coming in it's always wonderful to to see you guys. I hope that you know that. I can't wait for everybody else to hear more of the album. I've, I've heard almost the whole thing. Yeah, I've heard and most of it, yes. It, it's really outstanding. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And thanks for having us as always. Yeah, You're you the best. Nah, thanks man. for letting us use the platform to premiere our songs. It's great. A absolutely. It's so anytime, and you know what? In case you missed it, I tell you what, we're going to do this one more time. <laughs> Story of the Year. It's their new one, War. Going to play it a second time because yeah. you know what? I can. Thank you guys very much. Thanks, Great to you. Story thanks of the year. dude.